Good morning and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to create a look using the Deuce palette by Juvia's Place. Uh, this is full of beautiful colors. I just swatched them yesterday. Um, and so I think I'm gonna create a look that's fine for just for everyday use, but that you could also use for like a wedding if you were going to a wedding. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. I'm going to start out with my skin and today I'm using my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This is in the color Yukon and I've already put on SPF 50 all over my face and I'm just putting some of this foundation on a damp beauty blender and I'm just placing this on my face and dabbing it into my skin. Don't you know? Don't you know? I fell for fools, gold. I fell for fools, gold. What did I know? What did I know? I fell for fools, gold. I fell for fools, gold. What did I know? What did I know? And you a fool's gold. Oh my God. Yes, I do. And then to set my face, I'm going in with my Beauty Bakery Flower. This is in the color Translucent. And I'm just tapping some of it into the lid. And then I'm picking it up on a large fluffy brush. And today I'll be using this one by Julius Place, I think. Yes, I did it all for love. Oh. They say fools believe in it, so I guess I'm one of them. Oh, don't you know? I fell for fools, gold. And I'll just wait a second before I set my under eye area because I'm going to put on some uh, concealer after we've done the eye makeup. For my brows, I will be using my Anastasia Brow Wiz as usual. You've seen me do this before, so we're gonna do the good old trick of no brows. And just like that, my brows are on! So to move on, we're going to prime my lids, and I'm using this uh, pancake ice cream from the Beauty Bakery. It looks like this. Oh, mine's a little dried out. I hope it's fine. And I'm just using this flat shader brush, this Lux Smoky, no, not this one. And I'm just using this flat smudger brush from Zoeva to put this on. I'm just placing this all over the lid. And then I'm blending it out using my finger. I find that uh, eyeshadow primers and the like uh, blends out much better using a finger, but I don't want to put my dirty finger into the jar of product. This is super pretty and can also be used as, a, as an eyeshadow on its own, and I think it's also super convenient to use for uh, creating, for instance, a cut crease, but we're not going to do that today, I think. And then we're gonna jump into the Deuce by Juvia's Place palette. I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit. And to start out, we're just going to uh, go in with this color right here, Berry Mousse, and place this uh, all over as a transition shade right here. Don't you know? This is pretty much my skin color. So it's super convenient to just use as a transition. As you probably know if you follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, I've gotten myself a cute little puppy. She's a Welsh Corgi cardigan. Um, 
and as you probably know having a puppy takes a lot of time so that's why I haven't been really able to uh, upload as much lately I also work full-time at a normal like 9 to 5 job so aside from working and having a puppy <laughs> There's not really all that much time left. My puppy is sleeping right now, but I promise you, you will be able to see her in a video at some point. Then we're moving on to the color cream. This one right here, beautiful pink color. And we're just going to use the same brush from uh, uh, Real Techniques. This is a medium shadow, medium shader, no, medium shadow brush. And I'm using this as the a crease color. Just placing this in here. And as I have hooded eyes, I like to place my crease color a, a little higher up. Just to make sure it doesn't disappear. And just gradually building up this color. Then I'm going in with this color right here, Custard. It's a beautiful pink purple kind of kind of shade. And I'm switching to a slightly smaller brush. This one too is from Real Techniques and it's a domed shadow brush. Yep, it's a domed shadow brush. And we're placing this color custard all over uh, the outer half of the lid. Oh, this blends out so beautifully into the other color. And also blending it a little bit out towards and upwards. Then I'm picking up an even smaller brush, and this is a essential crease brush, but I'm not going to use it for my crease. I'm going to use it for this uh, color right here called Creep, and I'm using uh, this on the outer part of my upper lid, just to deepen up this color a little. And then I'm using the same brush and I'm picking up the color Choclé, this dark brown right here. Um, no, I'm taking a smaller brush. I'm taking a BH Cosmetics, this is some kind of liner brush, and I'm picking up this dark brown color and I'm just lining my upper lid. And then I'm just blending this out a little. Yes, I did. Then for the inner half of my eye, I'm taking this color right here. It's called Puffs. And I'm using this on my finger and I'm placing, as I said, this on the inner half of my eye. Oh my god, I picked up too much color on my finger. How can that be? And I'm just dabbing this on it's a beautiful color can you see that that's amazing the pigment is crazy good and then i'm just using the large fluffy shadow brush that i used for the pink colors just to blend out the transition to conceal my under eye area, I'm going in as usual with my YSL Touche Clay. This is in the color number two. And I'm just placing some of this under my eye. And also a little bit down on my nose. And I'm blending this out with the pointy end of my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Just dabbing this in. And then we're going into set, and this time, I'm, as before, I'm using my Beauty Bakery 
setting flower in the color translucent and I'm going in with the same huge brush from Juvia's Place and I'm setting from the outside to the inside in the under eye area to make sure that I get product into every little crack of my under eye area then for the under eye area, we are picking up a small and dense Luxe Petite Crease Brush from Zoeva. And we're using the color Macarons, of this beautiful shimmery green shadow right here. And I hope this picks up on this brush, it might not, and then we will have to try a, not, a different brush. Uh, I think we're gonna try a different brush. Let's try this brush from Juvia's Place. It doesn't have a name or a number, but it's a synthetic flat shader brush. Let's try this one. Yep, this is better. Don't you know? Don't you know? I fell for fools. So picking up on camera is a beautiful color. It's one of the reasons why I wanted this palette in the first place. And then we're just going to use the um, crease brush from Zoeva just to try to smoke this out a little. Make sure there are no harsh lines. For mascara, we're going in with an oldie but goodie, the Clinique High Impact Mascara. This is a mini which doesn't show up on camera and I'm just using this both on my upper and my lower lashes yes, I did. this is a very natural looking mascara if you want something more dramatic you should totally go ahead and use that oh. But still pretty beautiful, I think. So I guess I'm one of them. Don't you know? And then if you kind of got some mascara onto your eyelid, that's not a problem. Just take a Q-tip and or wait for the mascara to dry, take a Q-tip and wipe it off. Super easy. Then for inner corner highlight and also a brow highlight, I'm going in with this color Tarte right up here. It's a beautiful shimmer, yeah, you can see it right here. Beautiful shimmer color. It kind of shifts between pink and white. Uh, sort of reminds me of the gumdrop color from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sugar Glow Kit. Like this color alone is reason enough to buy this clip. I'm just saying it's so beautiful. Then we're moving on to the face and I'm zooming you out a little bit again. And I'm thinking to stay with the kind of Juvia's Place theme, I'm going to go in with the Saharan Blush Volume 2. And I will be using the color Yara as my uh, cheek contour. I'm using this brush from Juvia's Place. This is a slightly smaller, big, pointy, fluffy brush. And I'm just dipping, oh, that's too much. I'm just dipping lightly into the color. This is very pigmented. And I'm just marking my contour area. Don't you know? Don't you know? I'm living in shadow. Don't you know? For blush, I'm picking up this color right here it's called Lena it's from the same palette and I am using a super big flawless face brush from elf cosmetics and I'm just 
wiping this all over the cheek area. This is also very pigmented. And I can see on camera this looks really intense. In real life it looks a little more uh, natural, <laughs> a little more subdued. And then to tone this down a bit I'm just gonna go over it with the brush that I've been using for the setting powder just to kind of wipe off any excess product like so. For highlight I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sugar Glow Kit and this color uh, Gumdrop. It's one of my all-time favorite highlighting colors and we're just going to use this. It's called Small Tapered Brush but it's really kind of big. This is from e.l.f. Cosmetics and we're just using this to place the highlight, or highlight on the cheekbone, tip of the nose, a little bit on the bridge of the nose, upper lip. Chin. Some up here. What did I know? Like so, nice and shiny and that kind of looks more natural now as it is after all summer and it's kind of hot outside. Then I'm going to set my face. I'll be using my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I'm almost out of this, but I've ordered the new uh, Colourpop setting spray. So I'll be trying that out soon and see how that's uh, performing compared to this one. And then I'm gonna go in, I think, with this Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick. This is in the color Vintage and it's brand new. I have the same color in as a gloss, but it's a totally different color. Like it has the same name, but the color is not the same. Oh yeah, and it looks like this. Nice and purple, I think. This will go nicely with the eyes. I think this is really pretty and just for some extra shine on the lips I'm gonna go in with the with an Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss this is in the color sunset strip and it has like gold sparkles so it might not suit the rest of the face we'll see yeah this actually looks quite, quite good so that was a good call. So with my lips on, that concludes this video. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, any feedback, any comments, please leave them in the comment section down below. Uh, giving me a thumbs up or a uh, leaving me a comment really does help my channel as it's telling giving like YouTube a signal that you like my content and that it's interesting so YouTube shows it to more people so that's really really helpful to me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll leave a um, thingy to subscribe to right here. If you want to see more of my tutorials I'll leave a couple right up here. So that's it for this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, subscribe and see you next time. Bye!